in this video i'll be discussing about my preparation strategy for neat ss 2024 so i'll i'll be dividing the video into three parts which are the most commonly asked questions to me uh, by the juniors so the first question is uh, the duration of study the second question was uh, the sources for the study and the third question was how did i revise so let's go to the first part of the video which is the duration of the preparation i started my preparation in second year of my medicine residency the that was the first part approximately a year and the second part was during the preparatory leave which i also prepared for my md final exams and the third part which was the most crucial part was the post md exam phase and between the exam which was approximately 2 and 1/2 months so if if someone someone is in a sec, in second year of medicine residency what should you do is usually the common question so i should say that there is something which is an essential training uh, for you to read Uh, to uh, for you to uh, no no medicine and that is the basic or uh, the essential thing is your harrisons so you might underrate it overall your residency but then when you when i felt everything during my md final exams and also during my preparation for my neat ss uh, test and everything so i found that harrison was the most crucial uh, source because all the questions were from harrison line to line the questions were from harrison you will see a lot of tables from harrison which was which were directly taken into the exams there are a lot of criteria and the major source or the consolidated source for all these things when you prepare for almost 7 8 major topics like for example hematology neurology nephrology everything is quite nicely given into harrison's i i don't recommend from my preparation that you go and read um, uh, hoffman for harrison for your neat ss or you go and read brown world don't uh, jump uh, out of that zone unless you have completed uh, harrison properly which i feel it is very difficult during your residency program so harrison should be your backbone during your 3 years you should uh, spend time on harrison to have a single read also people uh, do uh, make pdfs or your own notes in your ipads of all the charts and the tables of harrisons so that is one source which you can start during your residency which i think usually goes till 3 years of your residency the second part is i purchased maro ss ss plan so during that i started watching videos so initially i started watching videos of my interest my primary subject was hematology so i started watching those videos and i would recommend you to uh, watch videos of all videos of the primary subject which you like apart from that there are other strategies which i'll be discussing into the source part and when you read harrisons and these maro videos you make you make notes and that you can revise during your preparatory leave for md final and also during your third part of your preparation which is 2 months before the preparation so the second part i show i will be discussing is about the source i have discussed some part about harrison so that is the first source so harrisons all the previous year questions are from harrison line to line so i don't think you should you should have any reason to neglect harrisons all the table charts you usually very helpful into your md final exam but they are direct source of all the questions into your pre, your further neat exams even all the years 2022 2023 2024 all the years the questions were directly from harrisons so the second source which i used was maro so when i started maro it was difficult for me to understand what to do but then uh, my primary subject was uh, hematology so i i thought that in that uh, initial boost uh, of or initial enthusiasm i completed all the hemat hemat videos which were 40 41 videos which i found uh, important overall throughout my preparation and i recommend anyone who is who is thinking of for example hemat iniss you should watch all the videos and you should also think of maro ss qbank so uh, what about the other subjects for example cardio neuro gastro nephro rheumat uh, these are crucial subjects so what i did was when uh, when i watched uh, nishan sagar sir's uh, first video about what all the what are what are oral topics are very important so he enumerated some 30 40 topics out of those 70 videos which are very important so i watched all of them uh, which were which were very important according to him the rest of these questions in the topics for example congenital heart disease are few topics which are rarer which we don't see very commonly into the exams i thought i planned it that i will cover them into my q banks so uh, and the other topics for example oncology critical care pulmonology this was uh, even even some part of infectious diseases was primarily uh, what i read was from the q bank extract itself and so by solving q bank so videos i have explained you the second part is q bank 
सो वॉट क्यू बैंक आई रिकमेंड यू टू सॉल्व इज दी हैरिस एंड क्यू बैंक विच वॉज वन सेवेंटी फाइव मॉड्यूल्स फॉर मी दैट इज़ द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट क्यू बैंक आई फील टू कंसॉलीडेट और टू गो फ्रॉम अ बिगनर टू इंटरमीडिएट लेवल फॉर योर नीट एस एल प्रिपरेशन दिस इज मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट एंड वॉट यू शुड डू वेरी इंपॉर्टेंटली इज दैट फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू सॉल्व हेमेटोलॉजी क्वेश्चन आई वॉन्ट यू टू जॉट डाउन पॉइंट्स विच आर वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू रिमेंबर और यू फील दैट दीज आर इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स दिस इज़ फॉर रिविजन पर्पज बिकॉज वेन यू गो फर्दर यू फील दैट यू यू आर रीडिंग सिक्स सेवन सब्जेक्ट सो इट इज़ गोइंग टू डिफी इट इज़ डिफिकल्ट टू रिवाइज सो वॉट आई डिड वॉज आई फॉर्मड वन और टू टू और थ्री बुक्स इन दैट आई मेड थ्री थ्री पार्ट्स फॉर हिमैट कार्डियो न्यूरो नेफ्रो एंड आई रोट ऑल दीज अकॉर्डिंग टू दी मॉड्यूल्स दी इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट फॉर मी टू रिवाइज द थर्ड पार्ट वॉज टेस्ट सो मैरो टेस्ट एड फॉलोड एंड अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट देर वॉज अदर फ्यू सोर्सेज ऑफ टेस्ट विच आई डिड बट मैरो टेस्ट आई वेन एवर आई सॉल्व द ग्रैंड टेस्ट ऑल्सो आई हैड मेड नोट्स ऑफ दी ऑल दी ग्रैंड टेस्ट फॉर मी टू रिवाइज लेटर बिकॉज सॉल्विंग और रिव्यूइंग दोज बुक मार्क्स और सींग दैट ग्रैंड टेस्ट अगेन इन टू दी एप विद ऑल दोज बिग बिग क्वेश्चन इट इज़ वेरी डिफिकल्ट फॉर यू टू रिवाइज सो आई प्रेफर्ड टू मेक नोट्स ड्यूरिंग ड्यूरिंग माई रिव्यू ऑफ दी ग्रैंड टेस्ट आफ्टर आफ्टर आई गिवन द ग्रैंड टेस्ट सो दैट इज दैट इज़ वन गुड ऑप्शन आई फील द थर्ड सोर्स वॉज डॉक्टोटोरियल सो वॉट आई यूज डॉक्टोटोरियल वॉज फॉर अप्रॉक्सीमेटली टेन टेस्ट एंड डॉक्टोटोरियल हैज हैड टू टेस्ट विच वॉज द रिकॉल बेस्ड रिकॉल बेस्ड टेस्ट फॉर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री सो दैट आई गॉट एन आइडिया अबाउट द पेपर हैड कम एंड दैट आई गेव यूजली ऑलमोस्ट ट्वेंटी डेज थर्टी डे ट्वेंटी फिफ्टीन टू ट्वेंटी डेज बिफोर द फाइनल एग्जाम वैन माई प्रिपरेशन वॉज एट पीक सो the there were other small mini tests into the doc tutorials which were good when you get bored and you want to revise some topics so when you talk about the test you you know that there are two different apps both of them had different professors and their their line of thinking is also different but i feel both of them are important maro had more of clinical more of lengthy stem questions and doc tutorials uh, made sure that it covered the factual parts so that was uh, about the sources of preparation the third part the most important part is the revision part so one month before the before the exam i feel that you should read the notes of your qbank if you have a good study partner if you if you are lucky enough to have a partner then you can discuss them daily which i had which i was lucky to share with my uh, with my colleagues so two or three colleagues you you discuss them rheumatology one day you ask them questions so that that makes things easier so before one month what you should do is you should uh, Uh, read the notes of your qbank read the notes of your grand test seven days before what you should do is you should have your revision small book which should include the number of uh, the name number of chromosomes genetic mutations for example nf12 braca12 tuberous sclerosis12 then your uh, adpkd and all and the other alpha beta globin of your hemoglobin chain and all so these are the commonly asked questions which are very factual and if you i prepared for that it is um, it is a sure shot on um, marks the other other part is your inheritance pattern which is very important in genetics and trials or formulae for example fritz wolf formula for your triglycerides and ldl level so these topics which are there should be there ready during your preparation for that 7 uh, day before your exam so that you revise them again and again and you have everything already prepared for yourself so this is all about my preparation strategy if you have any doubts you can put in the comments box i will be um, happy to answer all your doubts thank you